Hello everyone. Today we are going to see how we can do a wireless heat maps using Ikehu site survey. So I have here in front of me Ikehu site survey software. So I already downloaded a, a, a office layout from Google. So just like any layout. So how the way we add it? Just click on Add Map. And go for the location, of course, it's office layout open. And now it's being imported. So this is as, as PDF, you can have, you can import it as picture or uh, AutoCAD file. So usually we use the AutoCAD. Now this is the layout. As you can see, it's a small office with a bunch of uh, private rooms. As I can see, it's meeting room and uh, maybe it's a lobby and common area and separate uh, to the, uh, the offices anyhow so we need to 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 think where shall we put the access points and you know what affects the wireless signal is first of all walls furniture even us as a human beings we also affect relatively to the uh, uh, signal strength so we need to draw the walls of the office so i just click on the wall as you can see and also, if you can go to the settings, then you can select the thickness of the wall. Maybe it's a concrete, maybe it's a glass, maybe, I don't know. So, just let's consider it's a standard wall. And I'm going to draw the walls. It should be easy, as if, like, you are building it. It will be fun for doing it for small offices, but maybe I think if it's Let's one it will be a mess. So what else we hit here? This one. Now I'm drawing it from end to end considering that we have doors. So kind of the door is always up. Closed I mean so kind of it's the same. So now, after we draw everything, I think also this is uh, done. Now we need, now, okay, we built the office. Let's go and select the access point. So what, just I click the all, my, all access points, and here you can see access point. And there's a bunch of models for the access point. Fortinet, HP, Cisco, Linksys, Miraki. So I'll go with my favorite ones, which are Miraki, Cisco brand. And let's see, let's, I can say, like, we can put one here, and, okay, as you can see, it, this is the, the green is the strength, and also, if in the, in the below here, there is voice and data DB, so, if you are doing a site survey with a voice consideration, you have to, 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 to consider that the strength should be not less than minus 65, uh, 67, or 60, Eight, I believe, something like that, to be, uh, to have proper voice quality without any disconnection. But if it's data, it will be fine. So definitely, we need another access point because we have blind spots here, and we have very weak signal in the right corner there and that's this corner there. So another access point here. It is kind of good somehow for this office to access point will do just fine. But we, we there is a margin of error let's say again as, as i said furnitures human beings uh, some other stuff will affect the, the signals so to to have it perfect and optimum you can just put three but also if we just modify let's just to very like prove it if we put this is here it's like everything is covered but we don't want to to, to do any to have uh, weak points or Let's just go with three, and it is perfect. Just a second, and you can, as you can see, you can change. Okay. So that's it, and just save it. And when you save it, it will generate a like a full report that that can show you the. Uh, SNR, the uh, signal strength, the, like there's so so many things you can see from the from the report. 
Let me show you one thing, I believe. Yeah, from here. So you can see kind of all this in the report. Channel bandwidth, coverage, overlap, data rate, jitter, and everything will be generated in the, the report. I hope you like this video. Please help me subscribe, like my channel, and if you have any request for new video for uh, certain technology, please let me know.